What's up guys, it's you and uh, welcome to- <laughs> that, that, I opened that video in a really weird tone, I may redo it, but I may not, because I don't really want to go through setting up the recording again. Anyway, so what's up guys, it's you and uh, welcome back to episode number 5 of our Pokemon Diamond Randomizer, and I was like they're doing here on the channel, and it feels really weird playing Diamond right now, I'm not gonna lie, because the game I've been playing the most recently has actually been, um, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul- I've actually been playing, uh, some Soul Silver, um, because we are doing, me and Tridents are doing a Randomizer Nuzlocke uh, co-op Let's Play over on his channel. So uh, I may link that in the description below. Um, but you guys should go check that out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys are missing the first episode, then you guys are missing a lot. A lot of crazy stuff goes on in that episode. I get really salty. And uh, it's just generally just a great, super fun time. I look forward to continuing, t continuing the series. But anyway, now that we have that plug out of the way, let's go ahead and look at our party updates. We did do a lot of grinding in the last episode. Um, so we have uh, Houndoom, who we added to the last episode, nicknamed Natsu, uh, with a bold nature, with a um, flash fire as an ability, which is pretty cool, with Leer, Ember, Bite, and Smog. And then we also have our modest, <laughs> our modest Turtwig, um... Nickname Pangea, Tackle, Curse, Rock Smash, and Razor Leaf. Then we also have Darude with a Dragon Rage, Takedown, Stealth Rock, and Sandstorm. Nice and mild nature, Darude, Sandstorm. And then we also have Big Dipper, um, the Star U with Water Gun, Recover, Tackle, and Rapid Spin. And finally, last but not least, we have Robin, Hardy Nature, Leech Life, Wing Attack, Astonish, and Bite. We out here. Anyway. Um, so we are all ready to go take on the events at Floroma Town in today's episode. I don't believe, yeah, there's not a gym leader in this town, which is pretty cool, um, because I don't really want to take on a gym anyway in today's episode. Um, I did do a lot of grinding. We may be slightly overleveled, but, um, you guys will understand this if you, like, if you've ever done a Nuzlocke. Um, once you lose a Nuzlocke, you are very paranoid about losing another one. So, um, I have just been super paranoid about losing a Nuzlocke ever since I lost Volt White. So, uh, I'm doing a ton of grinding. And, uh, let me actually check to see if I have any Pokeballs. I have one Premier Ball. I'm gonna go and invest in some Pokeballs real quick. So I can try to scoop up an encounter in Valley Windworks. Because that's the great thing about randomizers. You always get something new and fresh in each route. Like, in the grinding montage, we fought a trainer who had, like, a Hippowdon and a Steelix. And it was a double battle, and I was really scared. Um, but we were able to pull through that just fine, actually. Us, um, Dipper and, uh, Dipper and Natsu pulled through in that battle. Anyway, um, so we are back on Route 205 right here. We will have to scoop up an encounter to the north in a little bit. But, uh, let's grab our encounter at Valley Windworks real quick, which is a Weasel. Okay, Weasel's actually not that bad. Let me actually, I, I just, okay, yeah. We have Dipper, so we probably won't be using Weasel if we do end up getting the encounter. But... Um, it's always a good Pokemon to have just chilling in the back. And, uh, that Rock Smash did a lot, oh my goodness. But, uh, we're just gonna throw a Premier Ball at this Weasel right here. And, uh, we get it, which is cool. Weasel, the Sea Weasel Pokemon, it has a float, flotation sack that is like an inflatable collar. It floats at... It floats on water with its head out. Give a nickname to Weasel? Yeah. Um, so, I gotta decide what I'm gonna name this Weasel. Um, let me think. Um... Man, see, th this is a Pokemon that is kind of hard to give a name to, um, just because, like, it, it doesn't really remind you of any anything necessarily. Um, it's not like, oh yeah, there's a very iconic, like, anime character, or like, there's a very iconic, insert other thing here that looks like you. Um, but <laughs> I think we're just gonna name this Weasel LeBron, because out of lack of anything else to call it, and uh, LeBron is always... <laughs> a good go-to name <laughs> so anyway we are adding lebron uh to the lineup right here um Le checking in at number six for the cleveland cavaliers lebron J are we for real i could have had a manaphy man that's actually pretty unfortunate i would have loved to get a manaphy um i used manaphy at like the start of xyou because nobody really prepared for it, and nobody ran water resists, because they're like, oh, rain is not infinite, therefore I do not need water resists, <laughs> and plus three mana if he tears apart teams. Um, you guys are wondering how good it is, you guys can uh, go ask uh, Bash about that, Bash slash Slayer TV, um, he can certainly tell you how good mana if he is, um, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> um, I'm just messing with him, he, we, we, we had a battle, and uh, mana if he put in some work. But anyway, I'm not going to rub it in, because he, like, 4-0'd me the next time. 
I, I like forward him with Manaphy and then he forwarded me, me so we're, we're all good. Um, but uh, we are going to deal with this Team Galactic garbage right here. Um, in my opinion, this Team Galactic thing is probably the most irrelevant of all of them because it's just like, oh, what if we took over a place to make the energy? Although, you know, if, if you're thinking about that, um, like, oh boy, I, I gotta go back to the flower patch. Um, anyway, but if you're thinking about it, taking over, like, the energy sources in a region would actually be a pretty good, um, way to take over the region if you led an evil team. Because then, it, if you successfully were able to take out all the power in a region, the region would become, like, very unstable because, uh, people wouldn't be able to use PCs in order to, uh, take over stuff, or in order to heal their Pokemon, so you just have to so you just had to beat every trainer once. That actually would be pretty smart. So that, that is going to be today's comment question of the video, which is, if you guys were a member of an evil team, um, what would you guys um, do as a member of an evil team? Um, like, basically, what would your main plot be if you were the uh, manager of an evil team? So, anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, but... I wanted to also talk about this like mid video. We'll see how many people end up watching through and um, talking about this. Um, I've really wanted to play some Wi-Fi recently. I've just had kind of an urge to do it. Um, so basically, tell me. Like I have a small camera that I could use to record Wi-Fi. Um, it may not be the best thing for recording Wi-Fi, but I could certainly try because like. The, the reason that I usually preferred Showdown is because, like, you can just throw whatever you want together on Showdown, and if it doesn't work, it's fine. Like, it, it's extremely hard to get a Defog Latias. Like, I had to trade, like, my left arm to get a Defog Latias um, on Showdown, but, like, I, I, I've kind of wanted, basically, I've kind of wanted to bring Wi-Fi to the channel. Um, so, tell me if you guys would be interested in that. Um... It would be a lot easier if there were a kind soul with a 3DS capture card out there who would be so kind as to look at my battle replay and um, basically send me the um, f re recording file. If there are any of you out there watching, I would literally love you forever. Like, I would bow down to you, <laughs> basically, and... Um, I, I would bow down to you if you were to do that for me. So if there's any, any of you out there with a the capture card, just tell me so that I can uh, start throwing together some teams and looking for battles. Because that would actually be pretty fun. Um, because, like, I have a couple of teams in theory that I'd like to try. Like, I have a... I actually have a Defog Latias. Um, it, as I said, it took me forever to get, but I managed to get my hands on one. So, like, I've been playing around with teams on Showdown that are, like, uh, Mega, Mega Gyarados, Dragon Dance Gyarados and um, Healing Wish and Defog Latias uh, because I think that's kind of a pretty cool combination. Not a whole lot hits both of those super effectively. And then I was going to breed a Ferrothorn with uh, Spikes and Stealth Rocks and add, or just with probably Rocks, but, uh, and then I was going to add that to the team because that actually seems like a pretty good member of the team just because it synergizes really, really well with, um, it synergizes really, really well with Gyarados. Um, but anyway, that, that is neither here nor there, I suppose. This person has a Nidorino, and uh, our wing attacks are doing absolutely nothing. A double kick, it got a crit, but that's fine, because we're just going to keep clicking wing attack, because Robin is going to be determined to pull through and uh, knock out this Nidorino right here. Um, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, yeah, basically tell me about uh, what you thought, or what, what you think of Wi-Fi com potentially coming to the channel. If I were to upload it, it'd be like a battle a week, or just a battle whenever I can get one, because it would it would be kind of difficult to um, get battles and get battles recorded, because like, I don't have amazing internet, like I have good enough internet to where like I can upload a video in like an hour and a half, like this size of video, uh, which, is, which actually isn't terrible. But, like, I just end up uploading it overnight, so I don't, like, hold down the Wi-Fi for other people in my family. But, um, so, yeah, just tell me what you think about Wi-Fi. Also, I've been doing a lot of research into creating a ROM hack lately. Re I, I combined lately and recently right there. Um, cool word fusion to the Geo. Anyway, 
So, I've kind of been looking at that lately. Um, but unfortunately, there's just really not a good way to do it on Mac, which is pretty unfortunate, to be honest, because I really want to do this. Like, I may not ever finish it, but it's just something that I've always wanted to do and never really had the chance to. So whenever I could, it would be amazing. Um, but, like, that that's one downside to using Mac. Like, um, this was, like, one of the questions of the videos in um, my series that I'm doing with uh, Trident over on his channel, the uh, Hard Gold Soul Silver uh, Co-op Nuzlocke. But, um, like, we, we really did discuss, like, what, what are the pros and cons of, like, owning Macs? Because we talked about the potential, like, the things that are good and the things that are bad about Macs. Um, and the bad thing is, like, what?! Oh my god. Dude! No way. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into Pangea right here, because I don't think Pangea really fears any attack. Yeah, scary face. I don't, I don't even care, though. Um, I'm actually gonna curse up. Um, is I, I'm actually gonna uh, look this up in the middle of, the, of an episode. Is a curse, or is Twister physical or special? Um, because if it's physical, I'm just going to, uh, spam that, or spam curse, um, I'm just going to spam curse in order to make sure this twister does nothing to me, although I'm looking up right now, looking it up right now, Bulbapedia is loading, so I apologize if this is a bit of a slow point in the episode, I'm going to curse again though, as he just goes for twister, it looks like it's special, just based off the damage that we're given, um, Let's see. Come on now. Just tell me. Tell me, please. Uh, yeah, it's special. Well, that's fine. Um, because what we're going to do right now is that we're going to tackle and hopefully not, not knock this thing out in one hit. Okay, sweet. We did, like, the perfect amount of HP. Because now we can maybe catch this require. <laughs> Requaza with Pokeballs. No, there's no way we're gonna be able to catch this thing. I highly doubt we're gonna be able to catch it. Yeah. Like, as unfortunate as it is... Wow, we, he crit me. Alright. But as unfortunate as it is, I don't think we're gonna be able to catch this Requaza. I'm actually gonna run from it. Ooh, do we have any potion? Yeah, we have potion. Alright. Potion coming through. Um, please don't get another crit, man. Man. Um... But my conversation was completely derailed, and you you guys can probably hear me being super loud with all my cords right now, because I like kicked my cord charging my computer out. Um, but we actually got a tick right there. So, uh... oh boy, Pangea almost went down right there. That was almost pretty bad. Uh, but we're gonna go into Big Dipper right here, because Big Dipper actually has a pretty good spit F. Um, still does like seven damage, so we may as well throw these last three Pokeballs. We really don't lose anything by doing so. Um, nah, <laughs> I doubt this is going to work. Oh boy, this Rayquaza is just critting us all over the place, so we're going to- No, we almost went out into Druid. We're going to go out into Houndoom right now, because Houndoom is pretty cool. TBHIMO. And <laughs> we're going to throw the last Pokeball. Yeah, we didn't get it, but you know, n no harm, no foul. Um, it didn't knock out any member of our party, so I'm not like super sad about it or anything. Um... We get, we get like a round of 62 experience points for the entire party, which I guess is pretty cool. Um, so if I'm coming to grind, I may come back to grind here. Uh, there's a sh there's just a random Shellos that's just got absolutely brutalized with that Dragon Rage. Uh, but we actually need to run back and heal up because our whole party is almost dead. Um, I suppose it wasn't really worth it taking on that Rayquaza, but how cool would it have been if like we would have gotten a Rayquaza right there? I would have cried in laughter. Because, like, you can just, like, call it a wrap at that point. Because dragons are really good this gen. You don't need to worry about fairy types. Like, drag mag is pretty good. Um, I'm, tr I'm trying to remember things about 4th gen. The 4th gen metagame was pretty much figured out, to be honest. Um, it, it's a metagame that... Actually, no. I, I'm thinking about the 4th gen Ubers metagame. Um, which was pretty figured out because everyone just ran Deoxys Hyper Offense. And if you couldn't beat Deoxys Hyper Offense, you lost. Um... But 4th Gen was pretty cool because you had a lot of original sets. It was like the inception of Wi-Fi battling because like you could like legit battle people and you didn't have to be right next to them. 
So I suppose that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. I, I completely forgot what I was going to say. But anyway. Um, I got cut off talking about ROM hacking and how nobody makes software for Mac. Which is really sad. Like, if someone were to make a uh, ROM hacking software for Mac, like, you would be the greatest person in the world. Because, like, it's nearly impossible right now. You have to get VMware Fusion, which, eh, is really worth it. It's like 60 bucks. And then you have to get Windows. And then you have to get, um, what's the other thing you have to get? And then, like, downloading the software to crack the games isn't that hard. Just, it's just more obnoxious getting to that point. Um, I, I could use RPG Maker, like, uh, the people who created Pokemon Zeta used, but that is also very hard for, um, people on the Mac because you have to, uh, use Wine with uh, RPG Maker. And I actually tried using Wine with, um, Advanced Map, and what ended up happening is that, um, none of my stuff was, was accessible after I closed, uh, Wine, and I can't just keep, like, Wine open all the time. Because, like, that'd be awkward if it, like, popped up in class or something. But, uh, anyways. So, it's a, it's a bit of a shame that, uh, no, no ROM hacks on this channel made by me. Um, but <laughs> I just went for Tackle versus an Onyx. If he, like, crits me with Stone Edge right here, I'm going to be pretty mad. But he ends up going for Bind. That still does nothing. Razor Leaf should be able to take this Onyx out. Wow, Onyx ate that up. Anyway. Um... Wow, he crit rage. This onyx is just taxing me, and it's really, really obnoxious. Um, hopefully, we can get through these rats pretty soon and evolve Pangea. I mean, please. Okay, we're gonna try to evolve. Yes, yes. And then we are going to run over here because I just wanted to see what the item was first. We also picked up the TM for bullet seed while grinding, so we may teach that to Pangea. Maybe. Um, the only reason I would is because I'm kind of thinking Pangea could be like our Pokemon to use curse with and to where we just curse up to plus six attack plus six oh boy to where we just curse up to plus six attack plus six defense earthquake things and call it a day because that'll actually be a pretty good strategy for beating most gems but Pangea is evolving right here so um we finally have Grottle which is cool uh change should be on the layout right now um, or close to right now, probably right now. So anyway, uh, we almost lost Pangea right there. So we're going to switch you with Big Dipper and because we're just kind of evenly leveling our entire team right now, because I feel like that is a pretty solid strategy. As long as we can keep a good number of solidly trained Pokemon in the party, like we shouldn't really have any problems. Uh, but this Piplup is not part seal type right now, so I can just spam tackle. And uh, hopefully, the, oh my god, let's see how much Water Gun does. Water Gun does about the same amount, but it's not going to be constantly lowered by a Growl. So I'll just keep going for that. It's just Piplup's bubble is really doing nothing to me but lowering my speed. Uh, so I get a crit and I'm taking out Piplup, which is cool, because crits are two times the power in this generation. So, um, I can I go over here and scoop him an item? No, I need cut. So uh, the next area is Eterna Forest. Um, I'm actually going to run, run into this house and see what's up. Oh, does she, like, yes, okay, sweet. We're all healed up, which is cool. And what does this dude give us? All right, nothing. Uh, do we have any Pokeball? We have no Pokeballs. So I'm actually going to run back and scoop up some Pokeballs. That is one reason I fought all these trainers is because I really wanted their money because um, I spent it almost all on Pokeballs that we ended up burning on Rayquaza, so... That is that. Um, hopefully we can get a good encounter. Um, I would like to just continue adding members to the party right now. Or to our box. That's not necessarily to our party. Because I want good Pokemon in reserve. If we are not able to win with the set of Pokemon we have now. But we have plenty of money. Plenty of money. Money, plenty, plenty of money. So <laughs> I promise I will never sing again. That was pretty atrocious, to be honest. Um, so I, I guess I, I'll talk about school for a second. Um, hi, Braquaza. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing well. Do not destroy me. 
thank you. So I'm recording this on a Tuesday. I'm actually recording it the day before, which is something kind of unorthodox on my channel. Um, some of you guys know that I record just crazy time ahead of time um, just because... Oh, this is Cheryl. So we want to get through this forest. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you just like heal my Pokemon all the time, so that's pretty cool. Um, and we can speed up in this forest a lot. So that is where we evolve our Eevee and Aletheon. Um, but anyway, so I'm actually recording this not the night before, which is very unorthodox for me. Um, tonight was actually not too bad school-wise. And uh, we have a double encounter, which is skiddy. Um, but what I'm going to do to make sure she doesn't knock out... No, what, what I'm going to do to make sure she doesn't knock out any of my Pokemon... I'm going to go into Darude right here. Because I don't think she's going to do a whole lot to any of, like, my Pokemon. And... Are we really gonna play this game? Okay, so I'm gonna knock out this Chansey. Okay, I'm immobilized by love. Which is pretty annoying. Uh, and she's just use, trying to use Copycat Attract. Please just... Uh... Oh my god. Skitty, you're not named Mo. Okay, sweet. They actually put Chansey to, sw to sleep. That'd be cool if I could hit it. I'm trying to destroy this Chansey. Please. I don't want to be in love with you, Sk Actually, I am in love with you, Skitty. So I'm doing things, but I'm not attacking you. So just don't make this obnoxious, please. So they're just trying to copycat sing me right now, which is really annoying. Um, and Chansey woke up and used Growl. Oh my god, this battle is really, really obnoxious. So please. Drood is immobilized by love, and she went for soft-boiled. Guys, that is, that is what happens when you guys will just not let me destroy this Chansey. Alright, you guys need to attack Chansey. I, actually, it, it's not even worth the trouble to get a Skitty, to be honest. Like, it's really... Actually, I'm, I'm just going to try to knock out the Skitty. Dang it, am I? Um, I I'm going to try to knock out this Chansey just for the experience. Um, so, I got to hit the... I just got to hit one more Dragon Rage, and then literally we can knock this thing out. I really hope my mic isn't too loud. It's showing that it's picking up really loud. So I really hope it's not. Um, please. This is incredibly obnoxious. Yes! Okay, we knock out the Chansey. Now we can run. I, I just... We don't even get EXP for that. That's garbage. I wasted that entire time trying to get that. And hold up. Let, let me just test something with my mark real quick. Can you guys hear me now? Can you hear me really loud right now? I think you can hear me really loud right now. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to readjust my mic right there. There we go. That should be a little bit better. If not, then I apologize. Um, I hear my dog coming down the stairs, so this episode may be ending off in just a couple of minutes. Um, actually, yeah, we're going to end it off here. And, um, come on, face the screen for the people. Okay, this is like a puzzle. Okay, sweet. There we go. I did it. Um, so anyway, that is going to be today's episode of uh, Pokemon Diamond. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which can be found on the bottom right-hand side of the layout. And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.